The MMSI number or Maritime Mobile Service Identity is to a ship what a telephone number is to a home. It is a unique nine digit number and it allows radio operators to make automatic calls through VHF DSC radio exactly like you would call a telephone. It is also the identity that is automatically transmitted within DSC calls by your VHF. These MMSI numbers are issued by the appropriate authorities in the country of registration of the vessel. They are programmed into the device and they can be referenced back to a database of information about the vessel and her owners. Coastal radio stations also have their own MMSI number because they have their own VHF DSC radio and they could be called by any vessel's VHF DSC radio. For ship stations, the first three digits are known as the MID, the Maritime Identification Digit. They indicate nationality. For example, MIDs allocated to the United Kingdom are 232, 233, 234, and 235. MIDs allocated to France are 226, 227, and 228. MIDs allocated to the United States are 338, 366, 367, 368, and 369. The last six digits uniquely identify the individual vessel. The last three digits identify the type of vessel you're talking to. When the last three digits are different from zero, it means the ship is not a GMDS as compliant vessel, so it does not have the communications equipment that complies with GMDSS regulations. It is likely a vessel that will navigate only close to a certain port or the shore. When the last digit is a zero, it means the vessel is a vessel with local communication needs. If the last two digits are zeros, it means the vessel has regional communication needs. If the last three digits are zeros, it means the vessel has global communication needs. This will have consequences on the communications equipment present on board. Ships with global communications will be much better equipped for communications than ships with local communication needs. Land stations also have an MMSI number. For land stations, the first two digits of the MMSI number are always zero, followed by the three-digit MID, Nationality Indicator, followed by the individual station number. For example, Palermo, in Italy, has an MMSI number of 00247-0002. Groups of stations can also have a common MMSI number, Group MMSIs are usually acquired by companies for their fleet or by category of operation or by nationality. The group MMSI is an additional MMSI to the MMSI of a vessel, a ship station, and it is used to call all vessels within the same group with only one call. For example, the uh, United Kingdom's uh, National Lifeboat Group, the RNLI, as an MMSI number of 0232-00002. A call sign is a unique alphanumeric identification code that belongs to the vessel and acts very much like um, a number plate on a car. Thus, a call sign allows distinguishing between two vessels with the same name. It is used in voice calling procedure over the VHF radio, particularly when the names of the vessel may be hard to understand or repeat. Like MMSI numbers, call signs are issued by the appropriate authorities in the country of registration of the vessel, and they can be referenced back to a database of information about the vessel and her owners. Each call sign begins with a prefix that indicates nationality. For example, 
Prefixes allocated to the United Kingdom are to, Gulf, Mike, Victor Papa, Victor Quebec, Victor Sierra, Zulu Bravo to Zulu Juliet, Zulu November to Zulu Oscar, and Zulu Quebec. Prefixes for French vessels are Foxtrot, Hotel Whiskey, Hotel Yankee, Tango Hotel, Tango Kilo, Tango Mike, Tango Oscar to Tango Quebec, Tango Victor to Tango X-Ray. The prefix is usually followed with two or sometimes three alphanumeric characters. For example, the call sign of French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle is Foxtrot Bravo Charlie Golf. All coastal radio stations also have their call sign because they have their own VHF radio and they could be called by any vessel VHF radio.